Mike. Bunny. Yes. <clears throat> this will be uh, our last episode of 2017. So this episode is a big one. It will be dropping around Christmas-ish, and it will also end up being our New Year's episode. So I just I just wanted to touch upon both things. I wanted to touch upon, upon Christmas and New Year's, if I may, while I still have the chance. Sure. Here at the end of 2017. First off, the closer of the two, Christmas! Christmas! I've been spending a lot more time on the floor this season at work than I did last year. And that means I've been hearing a lot more Christmas music than I usually do because surprise, surprise, my wife, Natasha is actually not into Christmas music. What? You would have expected <laughs> that level of happiness and joy to just be uh, just dripping with Christmas cheer. Yeah. Instead, actually not that into Christmas music. My wife, uh, I'm actually taking part in something uh, that I learned about that some internet people are doing. It's called the Little Drummer Boy Challenge. I've gone all year. The Little Drummer Boy Challenge, okay. Yes, I've gone all year never having never heard the song Little Drummer Boy in any form whatsoever. Good. So I was worried that if this ended up becoming one of those – a season where I'm on the floor more, that means I'm listening to more music and there's a good chance I might hear the little drummer boy. But so far, so far I have not heard it once. And that is good because, you know, I'm keeping my streak alive. Yes. I'm worried that at any second I could hear it. But so far I have not heard it. Very proud. If you search little drummer boy challenge on Twitter, there's a lot of there's a lot of posts. The majority of them are are tweets along the lines of, "Damn it, I was at the mall." <laughs> Heard it in the Hallmark store. I was doing so good. So, stuff but, like that. But that is the goal to to not watch Little Drummer Boy at like to not post. watch to not watch the Little Drummer Boy or not hear any version of the song Little Drummer Boy. Uh huh. I have not heard a single solitary version of it, and so I, I'm keeping that streak. I'm pretty sure the song doesn't play on our contemporary Christmas station at work. I, but it's iffy if my work has the classic Christmas station on, because I'm pretty sure they do have in their rotation that version that uh, David Bowie did with what's his name, Bing Crosby. Yeah. Took a break from beating his kids to <laughs> sing with a weird space person. So, it, it, yeah, so there's a good chance the more I work, the the more chance I have that I'll hear it. But so far, I haven't heard it. Good. So, so I've been hearing a lot of Christmas music. And let me tell you something. The music that we that we listen to, not not just at work, but just in general, the music that we Americans listen to. It's just so boring and bland and vanilla, just so white. Yes. And especially now it's 2017, for Christ's sake. So I I figure what we need to do, we need to spice up the Christmas music. So that's why I have been hard at work trying to update some Christmas songs with a more modern flavor. Sensibility. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got I've got three songs. Well, I've got a bit. I've been working. I've been tinkering here and there in my lab. Yes. Uh, on uh, three different new modern Christmas songs. Number one, I'm really proud of this one. I saw Daddy blowing Santa Claus. <laughs> you know, it's it's you know modern day. It's, kids, it's sweet kids nowadays. Yeah, kids nowadays they don't have the hang-ups about sex that other generations have. Yeah. Uh, I I couldn't hear what you said because uh, Natasha was doing something with with chips. Uh, I didn't say anything. Okay, no, I heard what I thought was Jeannie in the background. Oh. Uh, here's a, here, this is, this is one I came up with the other day and I'm, I'm, I'm still hoping for this. 
All I want for Christmas is an indictment. That's another <laughs> one I'm working on. Oh, don't we all? Yeah, yeah. And then, and then I started re. And then, then I thought, you know, if if, if what I'm going for is, is uh, you know, Christmas songs for modern day, well, there's no real Christmas songs for a child whose parents are getting divorced. This is true. This is true. They are they are often yeah. neglected. Yeah, so a divorced kids should have uh, a Christmas song too. So this is the one that that I that I decided to rewrite for divorced children. Christmas, the snow's coming down. Christmas on Dad's one bedroom apartment. Christmas <laughs> because Mommy loved Daddy. Christmas for. Her hot yoga instructor. <laughs> now dad eats nothing but ramen. While mama's having hot yoga sex. Where's mom? They are doing it on the couch. Where's mom? On the couch that daddy bought. <laughs> Thank you for the backup. It's the grandma from the Rhapsody Street Kids believe in Santa, honey. Yes. That really... That really, I think, made the song. And let me tell you something, honey. I am ready. Uh, the one thing I want for Christmas, I'm ready to skate bigger and faster than my mom can make the biggest sandwiches in the world. Yeah, my true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, I think you could do, like, something with, like, a two Christmases. Yeah. And then, yeah. Two Christmases. Yeah. I'll, I'll, see what I, I'll see what I can do there. I'll see what I could do there. 